All right, here we are in our 1975 Ford High Boy. Uh, it's got the lights working, got it running and warmed up. Um, I'm gonna hit the road here a little bit, show you guys how she runs and drives. It is running in this video. You can hear it running, all the lights are working good. It's nice to have that kind of stuff on an old truck. So we'll uh, hop up here and go ahead and turn out the turn, turn signals. Probably get a little loud on this drive just because there's not a lot of insulation on these older vehicles. The heater motor works, the blower motor works fine and blows, but then when you go high, <laughs> makes that kind of sound. So she needs probably a new one or some lube in there. It's got a decent sound and a little stereo. So we're gonna get hit the road here. Just gotta get belted up, so kind of a two-handed her. So you can see it's got the manual shift transfer case the high and the four low. And I don't think it was a smoker because he's got that little blocker in there. So we're gonna go ahead, it is, weather is starting to go south on us. And there's that, that uh, RPM gauge I was telling you about that's added in there but doesn't work. Temp gauge works, all that stuff. But the fuel gauge, I'm not, it doesn't, it isn't showing. I put five gallons in, um, but I don't know if that's, there's a fuel selector for that auxiliary fuel tank on the left hand side by the seat. So I'm not sure, maybe I just don't have it selected right. But you can see the wipers working away. It's a four-speed transmission. Um, I usually choose to be uh, a take off in second, but that's kind of preference. I haven't done any towing or hauling with this, but. So hopefully you guys can hear me. We're in third gear now. You know, the steering wheel is a little crooked, but it goes straight otherwise. You know, it's not uh, all over the road. I'm gonna go ahead and hit some potholes there. We're doing uh, about close to 50. Gonna hit some potholes here. <laughs> you know, she bounces around. It's a lifted up high boy, four by four, so it's a bouncy ride, but not a rattle box. You know, isn't it an annoying, loud drive? You don't get a lot of wind noises or anything like that. It's just the sounds of the truck going down the road, you know, being a four speed. The transmission sounds good. It doesn't make any weird winding sounds or grinding. The shifter's really tight. So get into the four barrel a little bit there for ya. Going into fourth gear. As you can see, and it's got power brakes, power steering. It's you know this is a uh, easy to drive. Um, it's actually pretty fun to drive. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get on the freeway with you guys, so you can see that uh, this baby will do it. This baby will get up there. Um, you know what it lacks in beauty, she definitely makes up in. Uh, in mechanical land, it's uh, you know, probably could use a tune up, a fill filter, you know, maybe clean out the carb a little bit. I mean, just broke them loose there. It's uh, that was in second gear. It gets up, and uh, this thing makes no excuses for itself, it gets up and all all butt. So, we're gonna. Kind of killed it there, but uh, probably got on it a little too hard. Um, so we'll go ahead and fire back up. This is kind of the old truck stuff I talk about. You know, get you know, it's kind of happens, but uh, you hit a big bump in the road and you throw the floats out of place, and uh, she doesn't like it too much. But that's what I mean. You go through, maybe clean up the carb a little bit, put some fresh fuel in this thing. Um, you know, kind of just put some new fluids in it, see where you're at. But running and driving wise, I mean, it really runs and drives really good. Um, the steering's nice and tight. The brakes are good. Um, you know, it's a great restoration candidate or um, one you can actually just, you know, maybe just go through and do a little tune up and stuff like that and go ahead and just drive it the way it is. You know, being a four speed, it's a lot of fun, you know, and it's easy to drive. You know, the granny low is, you know, you don't want to downshift into first gear unless uh, you're at a dead stop. But you know, you can go around the corners, don't gotta worry about your doors flying open. I mean, I think everybody who's a, driven an old truck's had something scary like that happen. But we're just gonna mediumly get up the throttle on this one. I won't hot rod it so hard and uh, scare her. But, uh, you know, we're going down the freeway. It's, you know, straight as can be. Now you 
got good speeds going. You get a little bit of whistle going through the windows, but you know, it's uh, kind of the characters of having an old original truck. You know, it hasn't been restored and built up, and but you know, it's, you didn't get no cracks in the windows. You don't have any chips. You know, good visibility. Uh, the windows roll up and down really easy. I mean, obviously you can see the wipers are working great. I mean, the, the fillers themselves, the felts could definitely use uh, maybe a replacing, but they, you know, they get the job done. You know, this is a truck that, uh, you know, if you need it to do a weekend job, it'll be there for you. Um, but yeah, it's going to be going to no reserve, and I hope it goes to a good home. You know, finally gets uh, gets the restoration, or at least you know a cosmetic fix-up that it deserves, and maybe just uh, you know just a little bit of stuff as mentioned, maybe a tune-up, fuel filter, some fresh fuel. Um, you know, I'll I'll post if I get that fuel gauge to work. But uh, you know, and just go ahead and hit it. So this will be going uh, at no reserve. So good luck, everybody.